from Cincinnati LaSalle, a senior with a 43 and 1 record, Max Bird. And from Cleveland, St. Ignatius, Bird is starting to be the finalist. State champion won it 112 a year ago. The D. Camillo is the only undefeated wrestler in Division One. Also ranked first in the United States of America, headed to Virginia to wrestle for Steve Garland and the Cavaliers next fall. Joins a large contingent of Ohio wrestlers. Also, fellow finalist James Subak in the Cavaliers class, recruiting class 2012. Bird was defeated in state finals last year by Dean Heil and has really earned his way back. He won what might be the best match of the tournament in his quarterfinal with Colin Heffernan. And then beat Ivan McClay, who has taken DiCamillo to the limits twice this season. Lost a pair of one-point matches to the Ignatius wrestler. DiCamillo, by the way, from St. Ignatius in Cleveland. Bird from Cincinnati LaSalle. One of our few Cincinnati versus Cleveland matchups. Cleveland tends to dominate the state wrestling circuit. Single to a double there for DiCamillo. He's on the board with 117 left. His lead is 2-0. Those weight classes need to be simple. In the staging area on the Spiral claw, Bird up to his feet. D. Camillo now sits back and tilts off the return. Bird though rolls through. No score there. Under a minute left. 2 0 lead George D. Camillo. D. Camillo, Iron Man champ, the two time Iron Man champion. Defeated Ryan Taylor of Graham in finals, who's wrestling on mat two. DiCamillo rides tough, 30 seconds left in the period. And Bird struggling underneath right now. DiCamillo's been selected to the Dapper Dan All-Star Team, the United States All-Star Team that will wrestle Pennsylvania's best later in this month. People are excited to see him take on Nikki Roberts, the two of them, the consensus first and second ranked wrestlers of this weight class nationally. Di Camillo chops and breaks Bird down. Not a whole lot he can do from here. Ten seconds left. Now Bird elevating Di Camillo, trying to shake him off. Five seconds to do it. Di Camillo leached up and will end the period 2-0 lead George Di Camillo. He wins the flip into first. Bird chooses to go neutral. A leg slap by Bird. Now short offense. D. Camillo. Again, half shot as Bird backs him up and out. 15 seconds gone by, second period, still 2-0 lead for George. Bird's best bet might be to attack from space. Certainly D. Camillo has dictated ties and is doing so right here. It's worth 30 seconds gone by in the period. Just go behind D. Camillo, can't quite get there, has the leg, just a matter of finishing, cuts it off to a double. Bird still fighting it now, bellies out, gives up the takedown. 4-0 lead, D. Camillo with a minute 18 to go in the second period. D. Camillo, haunting ball and chain kill as we come up on a minute to go in the second period. Might run out of room on the edge there as we're getting dangerously close to the line. Sits back to roll the other way, 45 seconds left. Bird, heel and hand, almost to his feet. De Camilla drops to a leg. And now we're scrambling. As Bird close to 
scoring, but Di Camillo stays squared off, keeps the leg 30 seconds left, and still up 4-0 with the out of bounds. 27 seconds on our restart. Gets Bird back into him. 20 seconds left. Grab riding Di Camillo. Now has him completely flattened out. 10 seconds to go in the period. It'll be Di Camillo's choice in the third. Just suffocating Bird underneath right now. He certainly could see Di Camillo taking top. I don't think he will. He doesn't. He'll go neutral. Know something I don't know about Bird on top. Yeah. He chooses not to go underneath. 4 0 lead, he has the ability to leave points on the board. Half shot there, Bird, nothing doing. Di Camillo, short offense. Circling hasn't scored yet. Bird's doing a nice job staying with him. Di Camillo has dominated his way through the tournament, has a pair of falls and a major decision. This one not a blowout on the scoreboard, but I don't think there's much of a doubt he's been a better wrestler. Di Camillo hoping to cap off a fine career. There's a single. Bird can't quite stuff the head, or does stuff the head. Gets up and out. A minute 20 left in this one. Now Bird go behind attempt. Di Camillo shoots out of bounds. No circle back, still has the leg. Bird trying to scramble with him. Now Di Camillo tossing out 58 seconds away from the state title. 4 0 lead at 120 pounds, Division I here in Ohio. Four seconds left. Bird's gonna need to reach into his bag of tricks and see if he can't go feet to back on Di Camillo. I, which I realize is much easier said than done. It's Di Camillo in on a single. Bird fighting on the edge. 30 seconds left. Di Camillo has it covered. Gets his two on the edge. Six nothing. Now our score. 27 seconds. We're gonna wave it off. Assistant says we're out of bounds, so it's still just 4 0 Di Camillo. And gives Bird just a sliver of hope. He tries to suck Di Camillo's head down, looking cement mixer. Certainly that would change things. Let's see if he can't rob Rowan himself a state title, but nine seconds left. Di Camillo's going to free his head. Camillo, two-time state champion, your winner, 4 nothing decision, and it caps off a great career for the future Virginia Cavaliers.